Hello, I'm Dave Cusack, Chief Executive of St Paul's Community Development Trust, and I'm here with this short message to mark the 40th birthday of our wonderful Borsal Heath City Farm. When I was interviewed for the job, some three and a half years ago, this was one of the first places that the then chair of our trustees brought me and showed me. I was amazed at the facility and one of the questions I asked was, how do you fund all this? Um, and that has been a constant recurring theme for me in the last three and a half years, but more about that later. Um, as it's the farm's birthday, I wanted to just talk a little bit about what makes this farm so special? Well, you can see it's a beautiful sunny day. You can see one of our cats, Homer, here, enjoying the sunshine. Um, and from time to time, as I walk around the Trust, um, I often look at visitors who come to our beautiful farm. And when you see the joy on children's faces from a nursery school as they're stroking the guinea pigs, or they're feeding the sheep and the goats, or indeed they're looking at our very aggressive turkey, snap, crackle and pop, um, you then realise what's so special about this place. Because it's here in the middle of Orsall Heath, an inner city area of Birmingham, and many, many of the children that come to this place are not likely to see these animals in their short lives so this is a great place for learning and for fun. So I talked at the beginning of the film about funding and back in what seems like very dark days December 2019 um, we had a, a major crisis um, in terms of the money that we needed to keep the farm running. Um, I very sadly at that point had to recommend to our board that unless we could find a funder um, the farm would inevitably have to close. Um, the board backed that decision um, but, and I always thank them for this, they gave me a few months to see if I could work what I thought was the impossible um, and find somebody who was prepared to fund it. And as I stand here today in 2020, um, I'm pleased and proud to announce that we're partners with the Active Wellbeing Society who for the past 18 months have funded this wonderful farm of ours. Since the partnership with TORS, the farm has thrived over the last 18 months and for its birthday we were due to announce a whole series of new programmes on the farm aimed at adults and getting older adults active and back to nature. Um, sadly, due to the current crisis, we've had to postpone that. Um, but watch this space, because later on this year, all being well, we will be announcing a whole series of new activities on the farm. I wanted to end this short message by saying a few thank yous. Firstly, I need to thank immensely Anita, who oversees the farm and its activities, Huel, our wonderful farm manager, Jake, his able-bodied assistant, who day by day manage the farm, look after the animals, feed the animals, make sure the buildings are all safe. Without them, we wouldn't be able to operate. But side by side with those guys are the volunteers who come rain or shine turn up religiously to help us out on that farm. Again, without the team of volunteers, we wouldn't be able to operate, so thank you to them. I want to thank, and there's far too many to name them all, the people who have funded various projects over the years. I've already mentioned the Active Wellbeing Society, but there's a host of other funders who've, who've funded projects over the years. We've had businesses who come to the farm and do building projects. We've had businesses who send over teams of staff to volunteer and do work for us. Without you all, this farm wouldn't be what it is. So thank you very much. 
Happy birthday to the farm. Let's hope it's here in another 40 years. I doubt I will be, but it will be. And to you and your family, stay safe, look after each other, and we'll see you back on Horsell Heath City Farm in the near future. Thank you.